What's up guys, welcome back to more Emerge NYC gameplay. We're back at it on the Manhattan map. We're doing yet another viewer request. We're gonna be doing a major response and everyone goes with nothing but old school equipment. Uh, you definitely don't want to miss this one. Be sure to hit that thumbs up and let's get started. All right, guys, we've got our call in. Uh, we've had a few people ask about and everyone goes on a Manhattan map. So that's what we're going to be doing. We're going to be sending everyone on the map. Everything is old school, old or spare equipment, minus uh, Rescue 9, uh, Engine 85, and of course the battalions. Those are all newer, but everything else is old school. What we've got is going to be a collapse with a worker trapped in sights. Uh, to me, the everyone goes is mostly like uh, more about the response in the equipment and less about the fire, right? But if we do it, everyone goes and we respond to a fire, the fire is going to be out by the time we get everyone there. So that's why we're going to do a collapse or something like that today. So like I said, we're taking everyone. Uh, it's not going to be a full second alarm because we don't have enough engines for that, but it'll be close. Uh, let's go back to the right. Yeah, to me, everyone goes is like, uh, it's about lights and sirens and equipment and all that good stuff. Oh, wow. It's literally like just right down the street here. Okay. Okay. All right. Yeah, we can do this. Yeah, we'll bring this guy right here. Uh, major collapse. Yeah. Okay. So let's hop out while we're in F2. While we're in RTS mode, let's go ahead and get uh, Rescue 9 down here as well. And Engine 85 and the battalions because we're not going to be driving these guys anyway. So uh, let's put Rescue 9 right here. Uh, let's do the battalions. We'll do one there. And we'll do another one on the corner here. And I think that's everyone right like everyone else is going to be old school equipment so we've got 30 let's do uh 75 where you at 75 spare we'll bring him nice tiller ladder action this one is tough like i can't work the siren as much as i can um on the other one so we're gonna have to do that and i think we're good right we should be Luckily, we don't have too far to go with this one. Like, she's a beast. She really just is. She is an absolute beast. Ah, uh, looks like she's dragging her brakes or something. The, uh, the, the trailer, the tiller is really, like, stuttery. She's a bit stuttery there. All right, let's kill that. That was relatively easy. Let's see. Who else can we bring now, guys? Who else? Um... Uh, let's get 31 old. Let's bring them. We'll just go down the list from the bottom. Interesting. Our battalion didn't leave out. Why didn't he AI like he was supposed to? Battalion may not show up to this, guys. Uh, 74. Ladder 74. Nice. All right. So we should just be able to go straight down 8th and then cut across and we'll be good. Uh, trash truck. Yes. All right, we weaving. We dodging and weaving through traffic here. Hopefully they won't cut across in front of us. It spooks me every time you come up on a car because sometimes they like to cut across in front of you. At that point, you just have to call the insurance company and be like, oops. All right, I think 125th. So far, traffic's behaving pretty good, right? It's gonna be a major response. It's gonna be like uh, 30 minutes of responding for uh, two minutes of a uh, collapse rescue. <laughs> this is the way it goes. You gotta remember, uh, if this was real, everything would be happening in real time. Like everyone would be rolling at the same time. We don't have that luxury. Well, there's one battalion, one of them showed up. Let's take this guy around the corner here. All right, there we go. Uh, 74 truck. Let's get him now. 74. We 
Go ahead and get the door down. All right, let's go. May do some first person here on it. Makes the uh, siren a little bit louder. Like on this one, it's a little bit on the quiet side. Oh, school bus, please stay put. <laughs> Don't move. <laughs> All right, I think we're set. We're doing good here. Spurs having to concentrate like crazy. It's almost like playing a uh, arcade game, dodge the cars. <laughs> Hey, these Corvettes are always crazy. All right, SUV, you need to move, dude. Oh, come on. You really? You're not going to... He's just going to sit there and go, dude. Like typical. Typical. Tip, why did you pull down and stop? Like, they don't know what to do. Oh, sounds nice, though. I love it. Oh, we went down too far. We didn't go down far enough. Yep. Oh, that's all right. We'll make it work. All right, we should be here. Yes, we are. We are on scene. So I was saying you can go in F1 menu and you can hit 1084 and it put you on scene, but I didn't know that. I didn't know that worked. Come on, get, what is it about this brown SUV? Like, they don't want to ever, you know what, just get out of the way, just go. Yeah, that battalion's just like, nah. We're not gonna show up. All right, good enough, let's see. Who else can we bring? Um. We just brought uh, 30 and 31, right? So we need to get 32 is a good one. This is an oldie but a goodie. 32 and 66. Oh, yeah, this is going to be, yeah. This is going to be a little convoluted getting up there. We can do it, though. <coughs> Go ahead and get that door open for the next one, too. All right, let's do all the things. Let's get out of here. Uh, this is definitely a tough one to get up there from because I don't know this area down here that well, really. Like, most of all the stuff goes down on the north side of the map. Alright, back this way and then... I think... Man, no, we need to go back to the right. I think fifth. I think we're just going to run against the grain on fifth. It'll be all right. Yeah, I think it's be all right. Let's jump in real fast. It's crazy. It always looks so much faster <laughs> first person. It just always does. I think that that you see that keeps popping into the view every once in a while. I think that's the AI drive, like that's the driver model that's kind of moving around. It has to be. That's the only thing I can think of. I couldn't even imagine them flying down the streets of New York wrong way this fast, like. It seems like that would be really, really dicey. And I think what's going to happen is we're going to have to cut across. Yeah, we're going to have to cut across on 125th. Actually, no. You know what? We can keep going. I think we're going to keep going. Oh, trash truck. 
Well, the good thing is these cars don't seem to uh, want to like cut across in front of you as bad when you're facing them versus uh, coming up behind them. All right, yeah, this is good right here on the corner. Perfect. Nice. All right, let's do that. Let's jump on 66. 66, another one. All right, let's do this. Let's get these other doors down. Wait, let's go. I can't remember this one, if this one is uh, old or spare. Ooh, she's got that obnoxious horn. <laughs> Yes. This one's got the most obnoxious horn ever on a fire truck, I do believe. Like, it really just does. This is a crazy obnoxious horn. All right, let's go back on fifth. We'll do that again. Oh, don't cut in front of me. Why did you do that? Like, I totally had room, and they just... Oh, yeah, that, <laughs> that horn is so bad. Really loud too, man. All right, let's keep rolling. Oh no, don't do that. <laughs> no, don't. That one did move. Like, a lot of times they don't. I'm not going to say much. I'm going to let you guys enjoy the most obnoxious horn ever. Yeah, I've been seriously thinking about getting a racing game. I don't know. I, I'd like something else to use my will on, and it would be something way different for me. Like, I like doing different things to keep it fresh and changed up. So I've been kind of looking at Forza, maybe. That might be something we could do. We'll see. I like the uh, open map of it. Like, the map looks amazing. We should be okay. Nice. We're right here at it. And that horn. <laughs> I had to get one more. I had to get one more in. There you go. All right. We'll park this guy right here. All right. Who's next? Who's the next guinea pig? We just got 66. Uh, we've got 32. Uh, let's grab 49. We'll bring him. 49 and whoever uh, this tower ladder is here. I guess that's 68 probably. Yeah, 68. Ladder 68. Okay. Do all the things. Let's get going. How do we go this way? Um, back. Yeah, I think what we're going to do is go against the grain on this street, and then we're going to jump on fifth. No, yeah, I was going to go that way. <laughs> you can't do that. It has to be super frustrating to be an emergency responder driving in traffic. Like, it has to be. I know, I know people freak out in real life. Like, people probably just lose their mind and don't know what to do in certain situations. so fast and it's a crazy fast response
This is not the obnoxious horn, though. I remember when I worked for the railroad, I'll never forget one trip in particular I had. It was on a ballast train. We had 50 cars of ballast. We had two locomotives there, two old junk locomotives. They were C30-7s. C30 they from back in the day. One of them was an ex-Conrail unit. Uh, one of them was an ex-Seaboard Coastline unit. Uh, we had the Seaboard Coastline unit on the... Um, on the head end right and it had the loudest most obnoxious horn i've had it was the um oh what was what was that horn called i can't remember i used to could tell you what it was it was like the king of air horns i can't remember uh is whatever those units were delivered with i can't remember but it was so dang loud that was the loudest horn ever Usually, I'll be honest, I didn't wear earplugs a lot and I kind of paid for it a little bit now, but um, usually I always had earplugs with me, right? Like I always had a pair of uh, earplugs in my grip somewhere or usually there was some on the, the, um, the uh, engine somewhere too, but on that particular trip, there were no earplugs. I didn't have any, my engineer didn't have any and there was none on either engine like we had no crew packs there was nothing and it got by like towards the end of that trip every time he blew that horn it just made me wince like it hurt so bad to hear that thing you know i mean it's basically it was sitting right on top of your head and uh we had 201 miles of that so you know basically all night 10 hours of listening to that horn blare over my head so Spurt knows a little bit about it obnoxious horns I wish I could I want to say it was an RS5T was what that horn is I can't remember I can hear him to this day those that style horn was really common especially down south <coughs> not so much anymore like usually it's all older units that have them now but uh, i never forget that it, it was the most it was the loudest most obnoxious horn ever all right let's carry on enough reminiscing little story from back in the day remember that trip was really super cold too actually i never forget it was so cold that night we had the sidewall heaters cranked like we had everything going and i was like freezing like it never got warm it just bundled up this was down south too so it was kind of rare for that but it was really really cold and i always remember seeing like seeing those old conrail units because we started getting those not long after the merger right like it'd been a few years uh when i hired out after the merger so um I see these Conrail units and they always had like duct tape around the door seams and stuff like that. And I always wonder, I was like, why do they duct tape these door seams like that? Well, it's keep the cold out during the winter up north. Like we didn't have to contend with that down south like they uh, they did up north. So you kept seeing these Conrail units with the duct tape. And I was like, oh, then I figured out that night exactly what that was for. And if I would have had some, if I had had some duct tape, I would have done that. I totally would have done it. All right, let's get this guy up here. All right, this is going to be uh, 68, right? This is 68. Who else we got? The unit that is so bad, they had to cage it. Like, they <laughs> had to contain this one. All right, let's do our thing. A favorite of a lot of people. I get a lot of people commenting about this one, the light setup. It is really nice. Definitely is. Alright, how are we going to go on this one? Let's go back to the right. Oh, little lag. That's kind of rare. I, you don't hardly ever see that anymore. We'll go down and then up. Yeah. <coughs> All right, now they cleared out. It's weird. You'll see uh, traffic in front of you in third person view, but if you change to first, it clears them out. So might be a little trick for those stubborn cars and stuff like that. Let's take, uh, let's take this one, I think. Yeah, we'll take sixth. Six should work out perfect, actually.
Oh, what are you doing? No, oh, stop! <laughs> Don't go! Get lots of driving time in today, guys. So if you like equipment, if you like lights and sirens and horns and all that stuff, today is the day for you. No! Oh, man, we keep on him like no damn tomorrow. Oh, that was so bad. That would have been, that would have been so bad in real life. That would have been horrible. Especially a Corvette. That thing would have shattered into a million pieces. Uh, we're going to get this big taxi, too. Taxi would have fared way better. I don't think uh, fiberglass would hold up very well to uh, a fire truck. Man, what is up with these people? Like, they are literally losing their mind. What are they doing? At least we're almost there. No, yeah, I got to cut through there. Just hang on. This should be it. I I think so, maybe. Battalion still hadn't showed up. Other than him. Other than him. I think this is good. We do need to bring an ambulance. We need to have an ambulance on scene. All right, let's go to RTS mode. Do we have everyone? We got 30, 31, 32, 49, 78. We didn't bring 78 or 50. We've got some more, guys. I got some more action to go here. Let's do it. Let's get 78 then. Where is 78 at? All right. Let's see. Uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, this will work. Oh, another obnoxious horn. No, stop, 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 yield. <laughs> you need to stop, dude. Yeah, let's go back to first. I honestly feel like I do better in first than I do third sometimes, like dodging and weaving. All right, let's get 125th Street. I don't know why 125th Street sounds familiar to me for some reason. I'm talking about in real life. I want to say 125th Street was mentioned in Die Hard 3, one of my all-time favorite movies. Maybe, maybe they didn't. I could totally, totally be wrong on that, but it just sounds like... I don't know why it jumps out at me for some reason, that, that street. Alright, let's keep going. Let's come down here. We'll grab this hydrants. There we go. Alright, so uh, last one, right? 57. 57 old. Let's grab him. There's really, you know, when it comes to the collapses, there's not like a whole heck of a lot to do. I mean, you dig through some debris, you get the dude out, you treat him, and you move on. So I feel like the collapses and stuff like that are really good for the big responses, like driving everything. And we, uh, we hardly ever do like big responses with old school stuff. So, all right, it's going to be the same way. Oh, that's kind of a uh, melodic horn there. Let's hop in. All right, there we go. So anyway, a few videos back, I made a comment about hearing uh, Rescue put themselves on a call, and uh, I think a few of you guys responded in the comments and said, yeah, they could do that. Uh, special operation units like rescues and squads can put themselves on call. So I thought that was really cool, but it did have someone else comment and say that, uh, that it's at their own risk. Like, if, they, if something happens 
in routes, if they have an accident and they put themselves on the call, uh, that they can be liable or something like that. I don't know if that's like across the board for uh, all fire responders or only in certain areas. Maybe they're not protected, but yeah. Uh, that's what they were saying that if they put themselves on a call and they were in an accident that they could they could be liable so I was like oh man as you put yourself on a call you better think twice about it seriously in today's uh, world too like you know people are so freaking sue happy nowadays they'll sue you at the drop of the hat so all right yeah I think we'll just stop right here nice okay this is good all right, now we go to RTS mode. Let's get an ambulance. We're going to AI him. I'm done driving. It's, it's an ambulance. I mean, it's not like... It was an old school ambulance, maybe. Oops, wrong one, Spur, wrong one. All right, well, uh, there goes our ambulance down the street. I was going to jump on it and drive it myself because I didn't think it was going to AI, and uh, they took off without us, so you know what? Uh, more power to them. Good luck, buddy. <laughs> Good luck. Uh, represent well, okay? Do your job. Alright, uh, let's go back to the scene. It's got us showing two responding, but we don't actually have two responding, so... There, right, here we go. Alright, we've got someone trapped. Supposedly there's a worker trap in all this stuff. We're going to go search, and we're going to listen for him. And when I say we listen for them, I mean we uh, we look for the UI to pop up. It's kind of cheaty a little bit, but it really helps a lot instead of having to um, to move all this stuff around. Hello, sir. New York Fire Department can hear me. I tap on something if you can hear me. Oh, it's not working. He may be really, really buried. No, oh, I see blood. I see blood. Here we go. I hear him. He's moaning. He's oh, <laughs> oh, help me, help me, <laughs> help me. He's right here. Okay, yeah. Let's um, let's start moving some stuff out of the way. Yeah, this part really is not my favorite. It's not my favorite hand moving everything. We may try the saw again. Last time I tried the saw, it wasn't removing the stuff. So, um. I don't know, guys. The saw was really nice. The saw just completely eliminated the stuff. Man, there's all kind of stuff in here. Yeah, there is. There's like... All right, let's get this guy scooted off to the side. And I think it's like playing Jenga. It really just is. All right, let's go back the other way. Oh, it's just stuck. So, like, I just can't... Man... Guys, we're like, this isn't good. I guess I, I should try the drill. Maybe the drill would work on that now. I doubt it. I thought the drill was only for concrete, but you know what? We'll try it and see. Yeah, this isn't going to do anything. The drill's only for, um, for concrete, so that sucks. And we can't drop it either. Okay. He's so close. He's literally just right there. <laughs> He's literally... If we could get this one big timber out of the way, we would be set. Like... Oh, there we go. There we go. Yes. Nice. 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 Go. Oh, no. <laughs> no. We dropped it on him. All right. We finally got to him. All right. I wish we could put this drill away. Man. There we go. Get a roll-up door and uh, EMS bag. There we go. Nice. This is taking a lot longer than I ever thought it would, I'll be honest. Alright, let's see. What's going on, sir? Hello. What's he what's he got going on? Robert Hennedy. Oh man, yeah. He's not good, and I think dropping that big timber on him did not help. I want to say dropping stuff on him hurts him even worse, so. Uh, he's got two broke arms, broke leg. He's got uh, spinal neck injuries, uh, difficulty breathing, fixed pupils. Yeah, he's got a brain injury. He's leaking spinal fluid. Uh, eight respirations per minute. His pulse is 64. He's 100 over 60 blood pressure. So his stats honestly aren't that bad. Like, uh, he could, it, they should be worse, really. I mean, uh, let's do a C collar. 
Let's get uh, an IV going. Let's splint a fracture right here. Let's splint that one. Splint this one. And we'll splint that one. Definitely that one. And I think it says lower leg though. If it was his femur, that would be kind of a big deal. All right, let's get this guy loaded up in the basket. Uh, let's see, not carry. Treatments, basket, there we go. Oh man, and we dropped him on his, uh, Oh, we're going to see some lawsuits today, guys. I'm telling you, after this, we're going to definitely see some lawsuits. All right, uh, he's loaded up in the basket. He's got all the things. Let's check his, uh, let's hook him to a vitals monitor, see if that works. Uh, doesn't look like it is. Yeah, it is. Okay, yeah, there we go. Uh, 69 beats per minute is O2 is 80%. It's eight respirations per minute, 112 over 72. Yeah, it's not bad. That's really not bad for all the broke appendages he has. Really just not bad. All right, let's see if we can carry him out of here. Yeah, this is going to be really tough. I have to go around this way. Uh, that way. And then back this way. And then we'll set him down on the sidewalk and we'll get a stretcher and then we'll transfer him over. Nice. All right, let's throw him down there. Uh, let's change this guy. A little bit of turnout gear. Like, this is a major scene, a major incident, so I think he'd be in turnout gear maybe. All right, stretcher, uh, yeah, grab stretcher. We just ride over here, right? Yes, 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 okay. Unfortunately, we load him up on the stretcher. All this stuff's gonna disappear as far as like the IV and all that, so. Is what it is, uh, move patients. Yeah, I guess we should have lowered that. <laughs> I guess we should have lowered it. 99.9% .9 of the time I do that, but I got way ahead of myself. Okay, now it's fixed. All right, let's lower, let's get it back up. And let's get, grab it. All right, let's load him up and get him out of here. I think we've pretty much done everything that we can. He's pretty stable, like his stats look really good, so. He might have brain injury, uh, spinal injury, uh, arms and legs broke. He's had a bad day. Needless to say, he's had a bad day. We're going to load him up. We're going to call it a day. Sweet. There you go. Let's get him out of here. Anyway, that's going to do it for this one, guys. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, please be sure to hit that like, subscribe, ring that bell, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think of the old school stuff. Love hearing from you guys. Love all you guys for the support. I really do appreciate it. And uh, we'll catch you on the streets of Manhattan next time. Peace.